And here we have the Tiger Queen Anthea, Pseudanthius lori. It is also sometimes known as Lori's Anthea and Ameldi's Anthea. They can reach around 5 inches, though typically stay smaller than that in captivity. In the wild they shoal in deep water along with other Anthea species. They can be maintained in captivity alongside other Antheas as long as they are of a species with a peaceful disposition. Tiger Queen Antheas along with other related species require constant attention to feeding. Ideally they would like constant feeding using live brine shrimp and then supplement that with frozen misers, brine shrimp, fish eggs, lobster eggs and other small foods. Tiger Queen Antheas can make a stunning addition to a moderate or even relatively small reef tank. However, due to the difficulties in getting them to feed and maintain body weight, we'll give these a rating of expert only on their care level. Those familiar with Purple Queen Antheas, Pseudanthius tucker, will also find that these are very similar in terms of their requirements.